I've never worked with a one-eyed horse before. And he has just been such a gentleman. He's the most trusting horse I've ever met. He was always a horse that sort of stood out because of his size and a horse that you, 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 you'd never forget. The Godolphin Rehoming Scheme is now in its 10th year and we have rehomed over 200 horses. You need a fast horse to do it and a clever horse to do it and a horse that's very quick on its feet. From the El Rash of the year and Caymans went to the front, Sea Lord got to second. We, we have to be honest, we thought before we really met him, we did have a chat about it and we thought, well, We'll try it and see, but we didn't really think a one-eyed horse would do. Caymans is a truly amazing horse. He has so much adaptability after losing his right eye. We really weren't expecting Caymans to be what he was. <laughs> Missing eye has been absolutely no bother to him whatsoever. He didn't need a huge amount of groundwork or anything. He just took things. We said it's all right. He said it's all right. And there it went. He's such a big character, such a nice horse to work with. Despite Caymans having the one eye, it's never been a problem for him. He's quite happy to stand there with a golden eagle with a seven foot six wingspan coming in straight over his head. I retrain racehorses to do falconry. I'm a professional falconer, birds prey my living, and horses come in. And play a huge part of what we do here. This is where the thoroughbreds come into what we do. They suit Dartmoor beautifully. As you can see here, we've got a big wild natural area. Even, even down here on the Tamer bits, it's very unspoiled as countryside goes, and it's just made, made for falconry. We're about two hours behind ourselves, as, as, as is normal. Our very scientific landy. Now what we need to do before we start is all the birds will be weighed that we're taking with us. It'll give me an indication of where they are physically, mentally. This is where all my small weights have disappeared. Right, Dawn is weighing in at 1,032 grams. You know, it can weigh everything from little Harold at um, 250 grams up to a six kilogram bald eagle. Hey, nets, gloves, spare gloves. I'm trying to organize my husband. <laughs> but that doesn't always work. <laughs> Philip and I work really well together. We have, have this wonderful team. Philippa does all the hard work. She, she organises all the feeding. She organises everything behind the scenes. I just do the glamorous part and jump up on the horse and flap a bird around. I'm going to be absolutely stuffy about her. Most important thing, duct tape. We always promise we're going to be really efficient and have everything ready the week before. Trying to pop Caymans up in last week. Caymans and one more, don't let me go, I've got one more box of birds to go after Caymans goes in. Oh bless him. And this, believe it or not, is our main route in and out. <laughs> we have no idea the first time we take a horse to a show, how they're gonna work. But this time of the year, I probably work a 16 hour day, seven days a week. In, in terms of job satisfaction, I probably have the best job in the world. Martin's a very gentle soul. He's very passionate about his horses. He's very passionate about his birds. You know, I, I get to work with some amazing horses, like Cameron's in the back there, some amazing birds, and look where my office is. Dartmoor's got this wonderful big open spaces where the horse really enhances all aspects of falconry.
I love the area and I think, why do I want to live anywhere else? We're the full crew display, the car behind is part of our team. Okay, cool. we, we, they didn't give us any car passes. So. Okay. He travels so well. He didn't move a foot the whole journey. But he's obviously tugging into his head. I'll bring him round, yeah, because we can just drop the boxes straight over. That's what we did last time. A lucky cravat, we got married in this. Thirty seconds and we'll be ready. <laughs> right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You're here to see our second bout of humiliation, but this time we're going to make things a little bit different. So, first and foremost, let me introduce you to Caymans. On his right hand side, Caymans doesn't have an eye. Not a hindrance to him at all. The problem with the full from horses is because so few people do it, is I've had to make up the rules for this as I've gone along. So, you're only taking my word for it, I know what I'm talking about. We have to get them used to flapping things around. So we use a thing called a lure. It's a recall aid for a falcon. The horse in falconry is just a means of transport. It gets you from A to B as quick as you can. Came in here, he came to us more or less a year ago today. Never met a bird of prey in his life before he came to us. They have a PA system, they have a large crowd. You've got all sorts of variables because you have the great British public on mass you've got to work with. So we just weren't sure whether the cameras would go, whoopee, I'm racing. He didn't put a foot wrong. I was just so proud of him yesterday. He had a fantastic temperament. Martin had asked, for a horse that, as much as possible, was unflappable. I truly believe that Cayman's fitted that bill completely. He never really looks particularly for any reassurance. He just keeps saying, OK, I trust you. If you say, let's do it, let's do it. I'm not surprised that he's turned out to be a superstar in, in his latest career. He was definitely the bestest horse in the world yesterday. He really was. He's an absolute pleasure to work with, and we love him. He was so good. Oh, I love this pony. Can I keep him? 